Hitler over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Mimir! Sigrun? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie to me! Oh, Father, help me! He's a monster! Hey, what's going on, man? It's Arco. Welcome back to God of War Ragnarok. Got some shenanigans going on. Finished up a side quest last episode. You mentioned that Fimble Winter had worn down some of Odin's curses, but you still needed help. Was it Sigrun who helped you recover your warrior spirit? Is that how Odin liked to refer to the curse that kept me from defending myself? Oh, I suppose that is where I heard it. Would you like to know how that curse really worked? What it did to me? What it cost me to finally break it? I... I'm no longer sure that I do. That's correct. Well, Sigrun must have helped find your Valkyrie wings. Were they hidden in the place, I guess? They were not. But yes, she did. Argued all the while I should let my anger go. But help me just the same. This is the place. My goodness, I just keep finding these damn chests. We need to chests. work our way up. This way. Can you cut away through the ice? Oh, are the norms making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. Let's keep opening these chests, man. Um, fool couldn't find plastic, man. Wait, did I just go past it? Oh, what's in there? There we go. I didn't tell them to be here. did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing.
Freya. Thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Hmm. <laughs> Kratos finally says thank you, and everybody's not appreciative. <laughs> Give me a whole neck, boy. Okay, I feel something. It's stronger this time. Over here. <clears throat> this way. We found it. Ah, isn't it always the third place you look? Shut the fuck. <laughs> is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Absolutely thrilling, darling. Kratos. Why? Ghost of Sparta. Bane of Olympus. Destroyer of fate, cruel striker, bringer of war, weapon of the gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. <laughs> Get down, get down more. Go to sleep. Kinda wish Kratos just wielded a big sword like that all the time. Are we in our own minds yet? He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, the parts in your mind will be real too. <laughs> This place almost looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred.
Freya of the Vanir, Master of Magics, Queen of the Valkyries, Witch of the Woods, Frigg of Asgard, Destroyer of all she would hope to protect. <laughs> she always finds somebody to blame. She cannot. No more loot. Yeah. Mamir of the AC. Ah, here we go. Counselor to Kings. Merry Wanderer of the Woods. Robin of the Good Fellows. Let me guess. I'm a long-winded know-it-all, and I cannot change. See? You forgot smartest man alive. Them apples. Well, certainly clinks like genuine hack silver. I suppose there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. Hmm. They see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? A phantom! Rune magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody awesome. hell! Look at that thing! Attack! Keep forgetting that shit. Da, 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 keep forgetting that shit. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! <laughs> Give yourself an opening. Don't waste it. <laughs> 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 
I can't tell when it's attacking or what it, what's attacking. Well, yet another gift of Fimblewinter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. I am way too good at video game, I know I'm too good at video game. There's that itchy sound again. Normally I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. I, how very dare you! Babbling! <laughs> the door. Oh, that looks official. Bah. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! This is all you're doing, mother! I am so sick of your constant meddling! What you did to me. What you did to me! Selfish witch! What you did to me! You will not oh, 
get off me. Brother, over here! Come get me! I want none of this! Mimir! Sikran? Brother, hold off! Why did you never turn on Odin? But I did! I tried to stop him any way I could! Don't lie to me! You served Odin from the day you met to the day he put you in that tree! You sought a favor! You plotted his war! You watched him mistreat everyone and everything! And you never gave a day until you turned on you! I know, Stephen. It's true. All of it. But for love of you, I became a better man. A counselor for peace. An ally to all old you. Were you an ally to Freya in her suffering? To Scotty? To Grover? Or to Tanya? No! You only took the side of the powerful men who you Brother, yes. watch out! There's more of them! Even now, you see a violent god in need and you can't help but aid him and call him brother! It's who you've always been! It's who you are! And it's who you are! It is not her. No. Of course. You did what you must. Brother, the tree! It's pulling me in! Mamir! Brother, help me! The monster! Atreus! I am coming! No! <laughs> Why didn't you trust your own son? Don't let him take me! Atreus! I'm scared! Why wouldn't you see him the way he wants to be seen? I don't want to go back! He's a liar! He's a murderer! That's all I have to do. And now he's mine. He's killed his own family! Atreus! I am here! He's a bad guy! I'm not safe with him! Oh, Father! Help me! He's a monster! I think it's over. Did we pass the test? Didn't feel much like succeeding. I see the door has disappeared. Or it was never there. They toy with us still. Yeah, making me hear such horrible things. What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the Norns put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. <laughs> it walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother. Hmm. There were the hippocamps. They served the sea god. I battled one upon a titan. That might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> It's a seahorse. <laughs> I 
We're here. Fate's own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. What is all this, though? Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Tentatively. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son. son. <laughs> You know the child is an Asgard. No, you seek what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. Oh, shut up. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but you called him the destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must be a way to subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. Protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. Okay. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in storycraft. We are yeah, leaving. I hate her. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was educational. I bet you can't predict me now that I'm playing again. Bitch. <clears throat> All y'all three some bitches. Y'all yeah, should practice the art of getting laid. Bunch of hoes. Well, they can't be hoes if they're not getting laid. Bunch of bitches. Get on the horse. Get on the horse. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well. Isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object 
significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... ...will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. <laughs> I mean... <clears throat> I don't know if Ragnarok could be prevented to keep from people dying needlessly. I'm sure we'll come up with something. Yup. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I for one am a mite rusty at that measure, We've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. <gasps> yeah, Kratos is kind of just blindly charging into this, isn't he? I can't say I wouldn't want to see a game where Atreus dies and Kratos just freaking loses it. Can't say that wouldn't be entertaining to see. And I'd be lying if I said it wasn't. I'd feel horrible for Kratos, yes, but just to see that raw power would be pretty dope. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya... I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Hmm. <laughs> Well then, this very well could be GG then. GG, no re. Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Let out Listen, my mind. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. <laughs> This will be of use.
Always a joy to work on these. Hope it's to your liking. Kratos? Now tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like... He reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Hmm. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain. And as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Well then, what else, friends? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those lean worms. Good luck to you. Marshall. Carry on, my friend. Oh, you mother hunt. Do you just like hearing the sound of the chimes? I suppose they do sound very pretty. back they're back simmer down i see them i have news oh did the norns tell you how to get atreus back do we have a plan the norns say atreus will be killed by heimdall the plan is to kill heimdall first oh wow okay heimdall let's see never loses sees everything coming unpopular at parties this won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh... You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Oh, okay. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. I will help me kill Heimdall. Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artistes. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying?
So now you intend to kill Heimdall. <laughs> violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Even if it means war. What do you think? I think that war is the least. All right. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because that bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Oh. oh, that's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. <laughs> Kratos, whenever you're ready. <laughs> the lady, no idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, Tyr. I know you mean well with that. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our last adventure. I can't be around the violence that follows him. That follows you both. I'm sorry. Oh, bitch. I'm ready when you are. I probably should call it here, even though I'm having a blast playing this game, dude. Uh, I hope you enjoyed your saw today, and if you did, just smash that like button, tell your friends, subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll talk to you on the next one.